Okay, today I will tell you guys about a very rare German vehicle, the Nasshorn. Only three of these vehicles exist. One in Russia, one in America, and the only driving vehicle of the Nasshorn is here in the Netherlands. And this beautiful piece of machinery is owned by the Nasshorn Restoration Project. The Nasshorn was a heavy tank destroyer produced by Germany during World War II. It was developed in 1942 on the chassis of a Panzer III and IV and equipped with an 88mm anti-tank gun. And let's talk about the history of the Nasshorn. In February 1942, the company Alcat in Berlin was commissioned to build a heavy mobile anti-tank gun. It first developed the Geschützwagen III and IV. The same chassis as the Panzerkampfwagen 3 and 4 was also later used for the development of the Hummel self-propelled artillery gun. It was first known as the Hornet until Hitler in late 1943 ordered the name to be changed from a small insect to the Nasshorn, a rhinosaurus, a way bigger and more aggressive animal. There are no different variants of the Nasshorn, but there is a distinction between early specimens and the standard specimens. The first 20 Nasshorns produced came with a slightly different gun, along with a few minor differences. A 88mm Pak Panzerabwehrkanone was fitted with a sloping protective shield and the vehicle had an open rooftop. To create enough space for the guns, the engine was moved from the back towards the center of the vehicle, which you don't see very often with armored vehicles. Also, Due to the scarcity of rubber towards the end of the war, the standard Nasshorns are often equipped with steel top roller wheels instead of top roller wheels made of rubber. The Nasshorn was introduced in October 1942 and it was first produced in 1943. The Nasshorn was uh, being made until the end of the war and around 494 units of this type of Nasshorn were built. But this specific Nasshorn here has had a sad past. The Nasshorn restoration project, which took up this Nasshorn project to restore it to full working order, dates back to 2015 and the project leader is Robbie van Sambeek. They found several parts online of a Nasshorn, but they were still missing the hull. Then a hull was found on a website called Millweb. Then they bought it from a trader in Romania. Not much is known about its operational history of this vehicle. But the damage on the superstructure suggests that it was shot by an aircraft during a ground attack. The hull had the Fahrgestell serial number 310163. It would have been issued to a Zwerre Panzerjäger Abteilung, a heavy tank hunter battalion, on the Eastern Front, where the Nasshorn was knocked out. But in 2019, one of the team members of the Nasshorn Restoration Project was called by a neighbor uh, where the sh of the shed where the Nasshorn was kept in that there was a massive fire in the shed. So the fire brigade was called and when they arrived the uh, shed itself was completely burning and the Nasshorn was inside the shed also completely burning. Within 30 minutes, the workshop was completely burnt down and there was extensive heartbreaking damage to the Nasshorn. A lot of the components, internal and external fittings, were beyond repair. But with some luck, most of the steel parts were salvageable. It was not just the loss of the parts on the vehicle and the damage caused by the fire that was upsetting. But the workshop was where they kept lots of their tools, documents and spare parts that they needed for the restoration project to continue. Most of those were destroyed too. 
It could not be insured as the Nosson was way too expensive to be insured or the insurance company didn't want to insure it. But this major setback didn't stop the Nosson restoration team from restoring the Nosson itself. So due to the fire and the rebuild work, they called the Nosson here the Nosson Phoenix. Like a phoenix that rises from the ashes. They bought and traded to get parts again for the Nosshorn and even had help from a flak panzer restoration project at base Borden Military Museum in Canada. They heard about the fire and wanted to help out Robbie and the team. But with all this help, they are still busy with the restoration even today. This team is motivated and has a passion for keeping history alive, which is beautifully presented with this Nosshorn even after the literal hell it went through. So if you want to keep history alive and support the Nassau and Restoration Project, go to the link in the description to the GoFundMe page of them and please support this amazing historic project. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode about the a very rare special vehicle, the Nashorn. And uh, yeah, you see all the vehicles behind me. Uh, I want to also thank uh, Robby for allowing me to film the Nashorn. And I want to thank the Overloom Museum itself for giving me a press card and to allow me to film behind the scenes here. So uh, I also uh, made a pra Patreon recently, so if you want to support my channel, please uh, check the link in the description. And uh, also check the link in the description of the GoFundMe of the Restoration Nashorn, pro Nashorn Project. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Salute!